When it comes to prevention, there are two key aspects. One is to ensure that the calf has a very strong immune system and that it's able to fight the infection. And the other is to reduce the exposure to the bugs and the pathogens that cause disease. Well, there's two ways to this. Firstly, by ensuring in the calf's cycle that he gets adequate colostrum when born. The second uh, way we can improve the immunity is by good vaccination protocols in place for both calf diarrhea to the dam perhaps, but also to the young calf to prevent pneumonia and respiratory disease. Internal biosecurity is also important that we don't transmit disease from one aspect of the farm to the other. That means that we have a clean policy around uh, the utensils we use to feed calves. People working on the farm should have adequate foot baths at appropriate place and their personal hygiene and personal footwear allows them to clean them at regular intervals and the external biosecurity is very important so if you're purchasing calves make sure that you buy from a reliable source and that you're not bringing in any obvious disease onto the farm or anyone visiting the farm should adopt good biosecurity entering the farm. Calf scour is one of the most common causes of illness in the young calf. In particular, cryptosporidia and rotavirus are the most common causes of this particular diarrhea. Calves are particularly susceptible to diarrhea in the first one or two weeks of life. Scouring calves have bright yellow or uh, pasty feces. They can have a sunken eye, be reluctant to feed, and even running a temperature at that stage. When treating calves with scour, it's important that they're isolated and taken away from the main bunch. Continue to feed milk as normal, but in addition, provide electrolytes with a strong iron difference of up to 60 millimoles per liter intermittently during the day. Pneumonia in calves is a significant problem when calf rearing farms. Calves at risk are ones that are in particular purchased and brought onto the farm or where there's mixing of groups. The signs can present as a calf perhaps being lethargic, not willing to drink, uh, increased breathing rate, running temperatures, and even discharges from the eyes and nose. In order to prevent pneumonia, it's critically important to have the ventilation, housing, and bedding to optimal standards. A sound vaccination policy can begin from 10 to 14 days of age. Key to successful calf rearing is to have a prevention is better than cure policy. This will improve not only the calf health, but also the profitability on the farm. Animal welfare will also improve. And furthermore, there'll be less use of antibiotics on the farm, which is so critical for the food chain.